Manchester City were linked with a move for Harry Kane in the summer but refused to stump up Tottenham's huge £150 million demands, Pep Guardiola could be forgiven for breathing a huge sigh of relief on Tuesday night. Imagine if he's paid £160 million for a striker to fit in alongside Raheem Sterling, Phil Foden, Jack Grealish, Kyle Walker and John Stones who had served up the performance Harry Kane produced at Wembley. For once, the England captain carried his club form into his international game, and that has to get Gareth Southgate thinking, too, although the England manager refused after the game to answer the question that is slowly rearing its head, should Kane still be an automatic choice when it comes to the opening game of the 2022 World Cup? We've got competition for places in every position on the pitch and we need that, Southgate said instead. I remember when I first took over, we didn't have Harry for the first couple of camps, we do need that competition. There have been a lot of occasions where players have been playing at their very best and different occasions when players might be going through dips. Undoubtedly, this is one of those rare periods for Kane, from his failure to convert Luke Shaw's early cross to his wayward header from the resulting corner and his shank volley high and wide when picked out at the far post, he was out of sorts, with England chasing a win, he was taken off by Southgate and replaced by Tammy Abraham, yet more weight in the wings ready to stake a claim for that number 9 position.